Hey friends, Pa here. Today, I'm going to show you how to ditch your ISP's router and take control with PFSense. You know that clunky router your ISP gave you? We won't need it anymore. We're going straight to the source with PPP over Ethernet with VLAN tags. Sounds fancy, right? Don't worry, I'll explain it in simple terms. One quick safety tip. Don't plug in your internet line until we're ready in step three. Step one, VLAN setup. First, let's log into PFSense and head to the Interfaces, Assignments, VLANs tab. Click Add to create a new VLAN. The important part is to pick the right parent interface. That's the physical port where you'll plug in your internet line. In my setup and the example, it's MVNet A2. For you, it might be ETH1 or IGB1. As said, it should be your interface where you connect to the ISP. For the VLAN tag, check your ISP info. My example, the German Telecom uses VLAN 7, US CenturyLink uses 201. Don't set any VLAN priority. It won't help your connection. Step two, WAN configuration. Now let's set up PPPoE. Go to Interfaces WAN. Change the IPv4 configuration type to PPPoE. Scroll down to the PPPoE configuration section. Enter your username and password, but wait. Here's a pro tip. Some ISPs need special username formats. The best is to check your ISP docs or FAQ for the right format. This is important because else the authentication will fail. Step three, linking it all together. Click that advanced and MLPPP button. This is where the magic happens. Set the link type to PPPoE. Pick your new VLAN interface from the dropdown. Double check those credentials. Now's the time. Plug in the cable. If things aren't working, check. Status, system logs, PPP for connection status. Verify your VLAN tag is correct. Double check the username format. Try to lower the MTU to 1492 or 1488 if you're having issues. That's all it takes. You've just bypassed your ISP router with a configured bridge and got direct control of your connection through PFSense. Pretty cool, right? Check out the linked article for the full guide with all the technical details. Thanks for watching. And remember, open source is awesome. See you next time.